Grey School. What's good, bro? You know me, just sipping my beer and. <laughs> I'm tired as hell, boy. Yep. See you in the you you in the hotel. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been sitting in here getting getting the studio together. How's it uh, coming? It's coming along. Um, got the mic set up and everything, but not. I don't know where stuff is gonna live. Just yeah. Yet. Still putting the uh, the acoustic panels up and stuff. So you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's starting to I'm starting to get it together. Got some on the ceiling, but I'm gonna have to tighten that up a little bit. I probably got to get a little uh, area rug or something down there. Just okay. For, you know, to absorb a little bit more of the the echo in here. <clears throat> But yeah, it's yeah. Kind of um, uh, am I using the right mic? See, that's the other thing is now I got two mics set up in here. And... Yeah, you sound a little lower than normal. Yeah, that's because it's using this one, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay. Is that better? There he is. Yep. All right, there we go. What else has been going on? Man, man just just writing, kind of sneaking verses out to the people here and there. Um. Sent, sent Alex a verse for uh, what I think is going to be the first single off of the next project. Um, <clears throat> sent a couple of, uh, couple more references to, to Dragon's Pitchfork for our project. I'm going to try to wrap that up before the end of this month. Right. So I've been, right. uh, been trying to find beats for, um, for your idea. I actually, uh, I just got a couple more beats from uh, from Pandemonium, so I might might share a couple of those to see if either of those will work for what you have in mind. Okay. Um, Wait, which one is that? The 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 the, the uh, us, me acting out joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really <clears throat> haven't really been on my grind uh, this past few weeks or this past month, I guess. Um, but I'm, I'm about to get back on it. What's happening, mid? Hey, hello. Hello, Shaq. Hello, what's your name? Hello, Q. Hello, Shaq. What's good, Shaq? Hey, mid, I, um, I didn't realize I didn't give you access to that document, so I did it, like, probably 10 minutes ago, so you should okay. have it now. And, um, I sent you a message. I did get the, uh, WhatsApp as well, so. Oh, much respect, man. I yeah. can just, uh, communicate and share a lot and just do a whole lot and keep it there and just connect to it. So thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the suggestion. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I much look forward to it, man. I, I have ideas already. I got a, um, I already got an aesthetic. Uh, okay. On it. So I think it's gonna be a, like unique. So it's gonna be cool. Um, okay. I just wanted to finish like, uh, the, I did some, the dim sum, the dim sum, uh, so I just I made a whole comic for that, so I'm just letting that come out, and I can see that, and you know just give it out, and then you know next step like that. So okay. yeah, it's interesting uh, uh, aesthetic, and I think it's gonna be cool. All right, I'm looking forward to it, man. <clears throat> yeah, um, I actually so for the uh, the scene one, the uh, the the first the first track, I um. I was telling Q, I, I found some energy on, I guess, Saturday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and just wrote a bunch of stuff. So I wrote that. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll send you a link to that as well, just so you can get an idea of where I'm kind of kind of heading with that one. And I got, I got some, I have some ideas. I'm gonna post it, and I don't know who's down, but um, I used to do a lot of like back and forth before. And uh, I'm gonna post it like now. I'm on today is the last day of uh, grading and all that. Well, I forgot I'm supposed to have it in today. So from tomorrow is just wake up, go to the beach, you know, do my thing and just create, just creativity month. So I'm looking forward to getting a lot done and just connecting to everybody. When you said that, like the back and forth uh, and a group track, I made this, this this thing for the group track. And Kareem, when we spoke on the phone, he gave me so much energy off of that. So he's like, yo, send that out. So I'm gonna send it out hopefully, you know, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I just, you know, all of you guys inspiring me so much. So much respect. 
Let's make it happen, bro. And I don't care what happened. If I got to go to Sam Ash myself personally, I'm getting this this, this uh, thing working. Um, yeah, everybody's doing so much great music. You know, Q got beats and, you know, Shad doing everything. Everywhere. Everywhere I go, he's there. It's like, <laughs> love creating spaces and NFTs, music, beats. Ron, he's got Ron Shad. It was great. Yeah, man. Ron, I've been seeing you, you popping up with the rhymes, yo. Yeah. Makes me look bad, man, because I'm slacking. <laughs> I'm, I'm applying the pressure to. I sent him another beat the other night, like, yo, I think I hear you on this. <laughs> I won't accept no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, man, I gotta figure out how, how best, how to contribute, man, how to keep, keep, you know, just keep doing what everybody else is doing, motivating each other, man. Right. Oh, and she, this, uh, this, um, uh, uh, Audio Technica 4040 mic. Copy. Yeah. 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 For the price, it's it, it punches above its weight, yo. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> My room smells like acoustic panels now. It's starting to bug me though, because I just put them all up today. <clears throat> Do you feel a difference in there? Sound wise? Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, because before it was like I could I could do that and I could hear an echo in the room. You know what I'm saying? And now it's not so bad. So it's still I still gotta get a little bit a little bit more treatment going on, but I, I put in some work today. <laughs> That's dope, man. Congratulations, man. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Oh shit. And a, a, another achievement today which was Interesting, uh, you know, I think I told you like my kids never really heard my music. <clears throat> you said your kids? Yeah, um, my middle kid heard, he heard uh, one of my joints, uh, the bleeding out shit. Um, and that made him say he needed to step his bars up or whatever. But so my daughter was sitting down here today while I was setting up and I was just, you know, practicing or whatever. <laughs> and she's sitting there texting with her friend and I'm, I'm like recording myself just to see how the acoustics sound or whatever. And she looks up and she's like, oh my God, Slay? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, but it got to the point where we were having a conversation, like she's actually entertaining the idea of rapping now herself, so. A word, okay. Wow, that's yeah. Cool. She's seen a vocal coach too, so she's gonna have great. Yeah, and she, she doesn't listen to hip hop, which made me think like, oh damn, oh, okay. I, I, I like that. <laughs> Talking to Scam made me realize a lot of things. Like, I'm not doing this shit for the same reason that a lot of rap cats are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be the best. I'm trying to make good music so motherfuckers actually get something from it. Anything outside of that, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just doing it for me, man. I don't, I don't give a fuck who likes it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's that, there's that. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't be, writing about the shit that I write about if I didn't feel like somebody could get something from it. You know what I'm saying? And I think you're, you you definitely got different motivators and you 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 operate differently than me. Like I'm, I'm really not expecting anybody to hear my rhymes. Like I think you you expect people to hear yours. So it's different. Right. Yeah. Like I'm hoping to hide and fade into the background and just let people hear the beats. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I was gonna say, like, when it comes to people hearing my music, like, even if it's just my kids that hear it, it's still I want them to get something from it. You know what I'm saying? If they don't, then that's also fine. But <laughs> mm, I agree with that. Just the fact that my daughter was was toying with the idea after hearing me. You know what I'm saying? Like that 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 for me is huge. For somebody who doesn't like hip hop, yeah. who's also never heard my music, you know, and she doesn't hear hip hop normally. Nah, she doesn't. She doesn't fuck with hip hop, yo. That's so, dope. so, so I to get that, that reaction from her, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> like that felt like an achievement in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man! Congratulations, that's a big deal, big big deal, man. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yo. it felt it felt that way when when my son was like. I gotta get my bars up, like about his own shit. Like, cause I had been talking, like telling him like his stuff, like he needed to work on it. 
and he was he had this attitude like whatever i'm good blah 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 you know but then he heard my shit and he was like oh oh <laughs> you know what i'm saying so he realized like yeah there's something he actually knows what he's talking about like i'm not just an old grumpy dude i'm an old grumpy dude that knows what he's talking about <laughs> he's to the family in the words of d I, I'm, I'm really curious to see how sean makes uh last week's episode street legal yo <laughs> uh, oh that was like an off pod or something like that <laughs> <laughs> Was that the villains episode? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the kitten, what is it? The kitten carcass collectors. Yeah. <laughs> and the puppy puppy punters. I busted down into uh five parts, I think, so far. Oh so, word. Yeah. Like um, <laughs> the common joint is gonna be one episode by itself. Oh, just Jesus the common talk. Uh, when y'all talking about guilty pleasures, that's gonna be an episode by itself. Um, the there you go. What? Yo, what up? Oh, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Peace, peace, peace. 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 Standing ovation. What's going on, friend? Man, chilling, man. <laughs> little Good. tired, little tired. I got a new gig, man. I see. Um, I'm the meat clerk. I'm a meat clerk, you know, shuffling that chicken and. <laughs> You know all that, that stuff I don't eat anymore. <laughs> and go. now I see why. Ooh, I see, see first name why. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still eat it, so don't tell me about it. Cause I <laughs> Oh, my bad. My bad, I'm man. I'm playing, fam. I'm playing. I, I've seen it all, grace. and I dig in harder. That's why we say grace. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. That's cool, man. Good to see What's you, on, man. All it's right. good to see y'all, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Gray Stuller. Yeah, Ooh, man. I, I know I got to get up on my gear, lady. I need to get my <laughs> mine as well. I, I only have the uh, the skull skull cap joint. The skull in the yeah, skull in the hoodie. Winter time over with. I got yeah. new colors for the short sleeve too. I, yeah. I want the bucket. I'm getting the bucket joint. Um, I like yeah. the little fisherman style. That's yeah. Uh huh. You got to make a wife beater with the with the with the skull on it, yo. I see if it's a possibility. No problem. Nobody does wife beaters. Why not? Like a decorate a, 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 a wife beater with the with the graphic tee. I mean the graphic white beater joint. That would be hot, yo. That's okay, yeah. that's good. That's good. Should, even, even if I don't, she uh, maybe there's something that's up she's alley too. If it's not available through Printful, because I just do them through Printful. <laughs> Right. Right. Make it happen. Comic book cam. Comic book cam. Good. What's happening, brother? What's What's good? Good? Oh, peace. Oh, peace. Good evening. Oh, peace. 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 What's good with y'all? Hey, man. It's, it's a Wednesday. We happy to have you, man. <laughs> Likewise. I'm happy to be here. Good to see All you, right. man. He, uh, your squad is uh, getting corralled and rolled up in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a busy day for everybody. I, think. I can imagine. I can imagine, man. Yeah, man. How y'all living today, though? We good, man. We good, bro. Everything's good. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Very well. Very well. Yeah, I came oh, to learn. I came to learn. <laughs> came to learn. <laughs> yeah, I came to learn, man. All right. Take notes. Yes. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hey, man. I'm. I'm for real. Cool. Yo, I mentioned like, cause I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. You know, I, I'm being sincere when I say I came to learn because I'm not really up on a lot of like, um, like the battle rap. And I mm-hmm. mentioned, I mentioned it to my son and to some of my homies. And man, they they was getting on me. Like my son was like, um, what's my man? Uh, 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 is Chilla Jones? Yeah, Chilla. <laughs> Yo, man, I said that, man. He, he, my son perked up real. He was like, "What? Like he's crazy with the pen?" And I'm like, "Oh, you know what I'm saying." So I had to get get myself together. So I'm doing homework, <laughs> and I have nothing but respect because my son is no slouch. Man, yeah, Tiller's uh, a problem. Tiller's a problem. Yeah, Most definitely. I, I don't battle myself. Um, I, I do watch. Um, but yeah, Tiller's okay. a problem. <laughs> okay. So so it's like a it's a but you but you are part of like it's a 
it's a lyric it's like a school right it's like a mm -hmm. like you're actually showing people breaking down the concepts of lyrics and and, and that type of things right right man yeah it's just a whole school man something that uh uh funny you know I, uh, mickey me you know have been you know contemplating for a while but even when we didn't know each other you know and then when we finally connected it was just like yo it's crazy that we it's crazy it's just wild how we how we connected and and, and we had that that same goal in mind and we had never even never <laughs> even talked like so that was that was very wild that we had that same uh vision that we shared that same vision so when he hit me up about it it was just like it's a no-brainer like let's let's make it happen bro you know so yeah man these these are techniques this is a it's like a sport you know it is a sport basically you know it's just ex just a different you know, exercise in your mind um and exercising your pen really so yeah it's like that yeah, it's an ill craft like i look at it it's a whole different skill set like mm -hmm. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's really, they, they, you have to be tapped in in a different way. And I I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe for the sake of the listener, they should like break it down. <laughs> uh, break what down? What you want, what you want broken down? First, before we, before we go too far, Rob back there painting more masterpieces. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You living in the Louvre and stuff. Hey, I see you, fam. Straight up. <laughs> what up, Rob? <laughs> hey, you know how we do, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I you know, I got I got sponsored, you know what I mean? So I had to go out <laughs> and, and um you know, you know what I mean? Get lavish. Burn. Peace <laughs> y'all, peace, peace. Peace, man. Peace. Don't let yeah, I've been trying to let the guys know, yo, it's today, it's today, come through, you know? Um, so I dropped the Zoom, we'll see who pops through. Okay, word, yeah, yeah that's peace. That'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. good. It might just be us two, it might be the whole family, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we can make it work whatever it is, man. You know how we get down, so yeah, oh, no. it's love no. all the way, man. Yeah, so yeah much appreciation. What was that? I said this. I know this ain't your first time to this rodeo, so yeah, man. I had a great time the last time too. Yeah, so yeah, we enjoyed you, man. We had a ball, man. We all, oh, yeah. all kind of yeah. had a ball. That's the first time we any of us uh, uh, laid any bars on on here. I think, right? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, I thought wow, you guys man. got together and ciphered, you know, frequently or something, but nah. Yeah, nah, nah we, I mean, we talk about life and world and everything else, man, and, and the rhymes usually come through in song form. It, it's so it was it was refreshing to have you come in there. It wow, actually sparked man. a little bit more energy. So oh. it, it was great, man. Yep. Gave yeah. DeMond too much energy at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, uh, does does Rob there know about go. what uh what's transpired since we here? Hey, look, I'm an artist and I'm saying about my shit. We're not about to talk about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. Hey, wow. hey, look, look, hey, my connection's a little bad. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> ah. that shit. Uh. Did he go back and write something crazy or what? Nah, yo, we um like we we ended up battling for like the championship spot on this podcast and he beat me like yeah. 187 to nothing. So oh, yeah. It a, yeah, it was a flawless victory, yo. Flawless shit, I victory. voted for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right there. It was a win for Grace, though, nonetheless. That's what we was going for. That, here we but, go. But, Tell him here's that. The, here's the real question with that, though. Come on. Did you send him a pair of red thongs yet, yo? <laughs> oh. What? Look, it's bad enough I got a red bad girl, Right, on, right, right. Cut right. <laughs> me some slack, man. Come on, man. <laughs> right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't catch a creeping out oh. the closet in a pair of red bottoms. Oh boy, that was a bit of a stretch, boy. But but it worked. It, yeah, well, I told you. Like as soon as I heard, it, I like this shit over, yo. It's a wrap. It's over. <laughs> yo, since we got uh, since Rob's on, you might as well give him the whole bar. Uh, Demond, you remember the bar? <laughs> we don't have to do that, yo. We don't got to do. Oh that. no, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna have it scored, you know. <laughs> right. Nah, you can oh, run it. You know what? Like, I should I should introduce y'all to my guy Cam though. Cam, um, let me see, what do I say, man? Um, I'm usually the point guard and I gotta introduce Cam, right? So Cam 
is a jazz musician. Okay. Uh, right? Talking my language so now. He's a, he's a jazz mm -hmm. musician. He plays trumpet, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Right? Yeah, got it right. Got it my right. My guy yeah. is nice. He he so he plays oh. and he he raps. He's a viral MC, right? Um sometimes he goes viral for his MCing. Sometimes he goes viral to just being him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and on accident. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So um very brilliant dude. He teaches um he teaches rap theory at Pendulum Inc. And okay. he's also uh along with myself, one of the summer school professors. Um, not only that, but he he runs a lot of the behind the scenes at Pendulum Inc. And so um, I'm, I'm definitely honored to work with him. Um, I'm always like uh, impressed by by the things he says and his the brilliance, you know, the way he thinks. Cause I'd be like, I'd be coming out of left field with stuff sometimes <laughs> and it can be like, okay, okay, I, I hear you. <laughs> but uh you know what about this you know what i'm saying and, and i'm like oh okay all right cam is on point so um i just wanted to you know share those words you know what i mean you. so y'all know a little bit about who i work with at pendulum yeah I, and so i have a really really important follow-up question tips on how to grow your beard like that because i've been working <laughs> on this shit for 45 years and this is all i get right here this is 25 oh, years of just oh, Mickey couldn't know. Point, but, uh, how to how to grow your beard like this. Yeah, oh, like boy. what 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 do I need to do to like give it some life? Uh, man, <laughs> man, see, that's that's a tough question. I'm a country boy. So like I chop wood. I I, I, I man, I I'll be in the woods, I'll be in the woods, I'll be outside barefoot. Like this is okay. I think this is just a product of being, you know, from the woods. <laughs> we all got, chop, we chop all wood, got barefoot. Stuff. But the it. blocks, that's a whole different thing. I wouldn't actually suggest you do this. This is this, <laughs> this is tough to keep up with. I, my man's uh, dragons uh, pitchfork probably know because he got the locks on the head. But this is, uh, yeah. this is a different beast right here, see. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been sitting there envying them the whole time. I'm like, yo, I, if I could, but I, yeah, I, I already know. This is enough of head headache right here, man. Yeah, yeah. I gotta chop wood to get it. I ain't gonna have it, B. I'm. It, it ain't gonna happen. You, you yeah. end up chopping the wood. <laughs> yeah. What state you in, uh, Cam? I'm from Carolina. North Carolina. Carolina. Right? Carolina. Yeah. I think you I there now? On the, uh, the yeah. Event. yeah. What Let's part? Go, what part? Uh, Raleigh. Okay. Okay. Sheed, yeah, so. um, Wonder Dial. He's uh front in Carolina as well. What, what part you in, Sheed? Yeah, I'm. I'm like. Hour and a half, two hours. I'm in Charlotte. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm from Eastern, though. I'm from the two five, but I, yeah, I'm in Raleigh. Okay, okay. from from where at? Like uh, Elizabeth City area? Little Washington. Oh. Chaco okay. Little Washington, Chaco Witty, Beaufort County. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Deep country, bro. Like 800 people, 800, 900 people. <laughs> wow. Yo. That's dope. Yo. And born and raised. I see, see mm -hmm. you guys. So we I'm blessed to be here. We got the dean. Dean of Pendulum Inc. in the building, Mickey Fax. We got Chilla Jones. Um, man, I just introduced Kay. This is Grace Skull, the crew, right here, y'all. You know peace, what I'm saying? Peace, peace. Um, peace, Mickey peace, Fax. Peace. Man, I don't think I really need to introduce him, but MC, world renowned. He's the um, uh, the dean, you know what I'm saying, of Pendulum Inc. Uh, Grammy winner. Just won a right. Grammy. You know what I mean? Congratulations. And it Yo. looks like he's Yo. sitting at the brand new Pendulum Inc. offices. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he uh, just oh moved my. in like today, I think. So, congrats, congrats. Good boy. Good boy. What's up, y'all? All right, up, man? Yes. Congrats. Congrats. Welcome to the skull, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Yeah, so how does it feel? Uh, an intro for uh, Chilla too, Rob. You you doing these intros so well, bro? I got well, this bro. intro. Let me let me hit y'all with the intro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then we got none other than Chilla Jones. Ten and two. The kingpin. No, I I was about to say it. My Man, guy. Like it's ten and two. My guy. You know what I mean? Ten and two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Faster. 
My yeah, guy, salute, um, salute, salute. championship battle rap MC. And you know what? Beyond all of that, let me say this. When I went to Boston, <clears throat> first thing, yo, I never met this man in person in my life, yo. I pulled up. He treated me to some Dominican food, yo. Dominican mm. food, That's you know tough. what I'm saying? He has some 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 spinach <laughs> for me waiting. And I was like, yo, Dominican food and some spinach? Like, wow. <laughs> this is this is a real dude. So Chilla Jones in the place. This is Grace Gold, the crew, man. What's going on? Salute, 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 gentlemen. Peace. Oh. Peace, peace. Y'all coming peace. out, man. We uh, this is just a hangout for the most part, man. But uh, as Q will tell you, man, I always slip and try and, and slip in some que a bunch of questions and go a little interview, hard on the interview quick. side. <laughs> so yeah, so he gonna try and rein me back in. I'm sure as I as I get off course. <laughs> but man, we we just glad to have y'all, man. It means a lot to us that y'all came and, and and blessed us with your presence, man. We've really been uh, impressed by what y'all are doing with Pendulum Inc. And we really appreciate y'all keeping the art of lyricism alive because that means everything. You're getting caught up in the matrix, bro. Yeah. All right, yeah. one, one, one of y'all speak for me. I'm going I'm to check this out real quick. Yeah, he was, I guess I, I'll kind of fill in. He was basically just saying, you know, how did the Pendulum, Pendulum Inc. concept really come about? I, I think Cam started touching on it a little bit earlier. So, you know, we'd love to hear some more about that, how it came about. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let the Dean answer that question. That's, that's a better <laughs> question for him. I'm going to let him him talk about the origin story. Um, the origin story, man. Um, well, for me, um, around 2021, early, like right after the pandemic, you know, I was like, yo, man, I want to start a masterclass for lyricism. And, um, you know, I reached out to a company called Black Dollar Network. They had their own app. And I wanted people to sign up through the app to, uh, you know, get this master class. And it was just me. It was just me. And I made the tweet about it. And Jeff, one of our other professors, he reached out to me. He was like, yo, I want to be down. I want to be down. I was like, all right, I got to figure it out first. And then it got pushed to the back burner. Um, fast forward, uh, Comic Book Cam, he reached out to me to teach in a master class. Um, and I was like, all right. And he paid me. And when I got paid, I was like, oh shit, I got paid from this? <laughs> it's pretty dope. And I was like, I could, I could do this. I said, I could, I could scale this, right? Yeah. And I got off the phone with, uh, well, I got off the meeting and then I called Kim and I, I said to him, I was like, yo, I think, I think we could kind of make this crazier. Cause you know, we had spoke, you know, when he was booking me, but I was like, yo, I think we can make this a little bit crazier. And he was like, word. He was like, yeah, I think, I think, I, I think we could do this. So I started talking to him about his stuff. And then once I got some of the information, you know, I'm not a grimy nigga. You know, I was like, hey man, I want you, I, if I do this, I think I want you to be down. He was like, all right. And I was like, but let me, let me reach out to some people first. So I reached out to Chilla. As soon as I got off the phone with him, I reached out to Chilla. And I said, yo, Chilla, I'm thinking about starting a school for lyricism. Excuse me, a master class for lyricism. And if I do this, I cannot do this without you because you're the only person that I can trust that knows everything that I'm going to teach in the event I can't be there. You'll be able to do it. And Chilla was like, okay you know right very simple. It, 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 it didn't take nothing for him to be like okay let's do it okay <laughs> and then after i reached out to chilla i reached out to jeff walker and i was telling him look i'm thinking about putting this master class together we need mental health to be a part of this mm -hmm. and he was like okay this i'm down help. You know, I, I didn't really have to sell them on this. Like, I, I, I did not have to sell them on this. You know, I think the beautiful thing about me, uh, sorry, I had a lag, but the beautiful thing about me being this founder Dean is, you know, my marketing strategies. You know, like I've been dealing with marketing and doing marketing in hip hop since 2008, actually 2006. So 
I know how to get the stuff out to the people and to get the people to buy certain things. Right. So I think my faculty entrusted that I was going to be able to spearhead this thing into the right direction. Mm-hmm. Rob initially was just coming on to do the degrees. You okay. know, he was just coming on to do the degrees. You know, I was going to hire him just to make because we were going to have an in-person graduation. So I just wanted him to, to come up and do the degrees. And then next thing you know, like, Rob was pulling up to every meeting. He's just in every meeting. <laughs> and, you know, it was just like, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, I right, Rob, you, we'll, we'll have you teach next year, right? And then, then they turned into, you know, it was like, yo, we offered him some percentages in the company. And then now he's, he'll be teaching, you know, he'll be teaching this summer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. so. What's up, Rob? Go, what? Right, okay. We heard yeah. the story. We, we heard Rob's story. And he's very and his, his account <laughs> is a little different than mine. Talking about, I just, just showed up to all the meetings. <laughs> he didn't show up to all the meetings. I can't front. But yeah, we was I was we were sending him we was I was sending him the, the, the invites, not just showing up, right? Okay. We, we, it got to the point where like we were having like business discussions yeah. and he was in the business discussions. Right? Yeah, I, I I'm just up in there like we're all right, yeah, this is what we need to do. All right. Right, right. <laughs> but so, one thing that, that's that uh I thought was really cool was uh how Mickey, you know, um he seeks knowledge, you know? And he would ask me, yo, this technique is called, you know, glitching or whatever. Yo, have you seen this in the literature world? Because y'all know I taught literature forever and creative writing. And I'm like, let me see if I can find that, in, you know what I'm saying, in my in my um, databases. So I would go back and look for all my little terminology. Like, what, can, what do I liken this technique to, you know? And, and so that was very interesting, that bridge from the academic to the hip hop. And our conversations were about that quite a bit for a while, you know? Um, and it, it was it was dope. I learned a lot. I learned a lot just in that, you know, just doing that. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. But this is something I, I had to, I, I was like, nah, I got to work on this. I got to do this. You know, this is, this is mandatory. You know, um, so sounds yeah. like something that's right up your alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I've been using hip hop in my classroom forever, you know, and um, using hip hop lyrics. I would have my students dissecting Ghostface Killer, um, you know, uh, just everybody, you know what I mean? And in the poetry workshop, I would use MCs as examples. Right. Um, it's, yeah. It's funny you would say that because growing up, hip hop for me was like, I was real isolated. So I remember listening to Kumo D and he said, hang him in effigy. Mm-hmm. I had to go figure out what, what does effigy mean? Mm-hmm. Like I had to go look that up. Oh, it's like, you know, I, I found I, I found out what it was. And, and, and a lot of rappers was like that for me growing up. And that's what I appreciate about um, what y'all are doing because I think that keeps that that vein of people learning from the lyrics, like mm. like get, or getting something from the lyrics. The, it could be the smallest thing, but get something other than um, just um, entertainment. Um, so yeah, yeah, just you saying that about how you use it in your class, that, that just, yeah, I, I've learned from it my whole life. Yep. Yeah. That's how I started. Yeah, that's how I started. Yeah. Yeah. So we led a lot of us to getting some sort of better understanding of ourselves too. Um, uh, you are. You, you're not even here, yo. Yeah. We hear your voice, but your body is like you're, you're thinking real hard. <laughs> that's all we get. Yeah, I, I do. I do think, think we need one more introduction. I see one more person. Yeah, we, like, oh, there's another person. Let yeah, me yeah, see. Yeah, all right. But it. yo, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I've been I've been called to do my job. So, <laughs> the next guest tonight is playing. Um, we got we got my guy Jeff Walker in the building, also known as Rhymecology. Um, 
he has a business water. called Rhymecology, and he is the hip hop and mental health component to um, to Pendulum. He teaches a class called Rhymecology where he's helping MCs connect to to their emotional, you know what I'm saying, and to 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 their inner selves so that they can put that in the lyrics, you know? Um, he's a, he is, I believe, a licensed psychologist. And um, tell me if I'm lying, Jeff. Um, and it's dope working with him, man. He, he's definitely like li expert. lying on that one, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> he's an expert in like- Qualified um, mental health professional. There we go. Um, and you could ask him anything about, you know, that, that like 90s rap and shit, ask him anything. You know what I'm saying about the history of hip hop? My guy's on point with that. Right. Dope. That's what's up. Beautiful, man. That's that. We love. We that appreciate is, that. That is very beautiful, man. Straight yeah. up. Mental wellness, mental health is a big push on on this uh, front here too. We actually had our second mental wellness episode where we have mental health professionals come on with somebody that's in that field, and we just kind of chop it up with them. We dropped that episode last week, so maybe we'll have to have a special Rhymecology uh, episode. We, we want to try and do one of those monthly or something yeah. like that. So it'd be dope to kind of really sit down and ch uh, pick your brain, especially with you coming from the hip hop world. That that would mean a lot, probably. To, uh, 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 not even probably. That would mean a lot to us and our, our people, man. And that, that's actually yeah, how- Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all it's all in the name, Rhymecology. The psychology of rhyme and also the psychology of the mind. Um, it's all, it's just, it's all connected. And a lot of us weren't really taught how to express ourselves or how to self reflect or even how to critically think until we were listening to, you know, what, you know, someone, one, someone might've said on a record and we were like, oh, okay. So you actually can do that. And, oh, ghost face, you know, you, you just said ghost face, you know, oh, he, he talked about, he expressed himself like that way, brand newbie and said that, you know, like whatever it was, like we, we learned so much. You were talking about the vocabulary, the hang and effigy, great, great bar, by the way, Kumo D, but also the, the, the social wellness and mental health aspect, like that is just as uh, powerful. I mean, before you even came to this Zoom, I mean, I've, I've sat in on one of the, I've seen some of your videos. It is very, very deep, actually. People get a lot off their chest. For so what what is everybody uh, everybody like doing right now? Like I, I know Cam, you were the first one on. We didn't get a chance to really chop with you much. Um, how, how did you come to the, to the, I know you said that, um, you and Mickey came to you and you were like, yo, this is already something I had in, my, in mind. Like wh what was your original thought? What, what did you originally have in mind? Oh, so, so, um, it's just like Mickey said, I invited him. So, so I, I got popular, like he said, from the, from going viral a few times. One in particular I, on High Off Life, I, I did a, a freestyle and it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's crazy how the world works. Mickey was going right after me. <laughs> like he was the freestyle. He was the next freestyle right after me. And I, I was, I was actually using his video like to gauge my my like my success on that video it, on that platform because it was the first time I'd ever like freestyled on a platform like that. Um, wow. And then uh, Bars app, this app called Bars app came out um, owned by Meta, um, and I, I got an invite on my Instagram page, right? Um, like so, it wasn't even like a like a, in my inbox. It was at the top of my Instagram page. So I was like, all right, this is a serious. It must be a serious app if they're gonna put it at the top of my profile page to invite me. Um, so I, I tried out the beta, and next thing you know, I noticed that it was very much like TikTok. I was already on TikTok making some videos. I had a couple viral videos up there too. And then uh, I, I just, I blew up on that app like crazy because I was rapping, of course, and people liked the freestyles, but people were asking me because of my lyrical, like, I guess, you know, the, all the, the lyrical content, People were asking me for tips on the app. So I kept dropping tips for people. Like they were asking me like flow, like, or how to do punchlines, or they were asking me how to do just all kinds of stuff, make a request. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm the most popular person on this app. I'm gonna take these requests and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna serve my, my, my new fans. Right. So I'm giving them all these tips. And then um, um, homie uh, from the bars app named Jules, old cat, old, old, older cat. Um, he, he 
commented on one of my videos, my tip videos, and was like, uh, yo, this, this, uh, people will pay for this. Mm. Wow. And at the time I was, you know, it was COVID, unemployed, I'm looking for something. I was like, man, you know what? I'm about to try this, I'm about to do it. And I just started, I started a master class. It was nothing like what we got right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I started a master class and I was like, I need to drive people because I'm not I'm not popular enough to drive people. I need guests, and mm -hmm. I so I just I hit Mickey up. I hit Mickey up and asked him. If, actually, it's funny how I hit Mickey up. I told him he wasn't going hard on bars. That I, I called him, <laughs> and then he wrote a whole he he wrote a whole minute long freestyle about uh, <laughs> about comic books uh, about me, and I and I replied to it so. And when I invited him to, to the to the master class, he like I said, he just told you the rest. He hit me up and was like, I I, I can expand on this. I could I can make this bigger. Um, you know, I, and then he gave he 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 actually he came to the next master class special guest. I got Scott Zoo to come, oh, wow. you know, with with very limited resources. You know, I'm I, I went to a show. Uh, a Sky Zoo show. I got. I, I ended up backstage because I knew one of the rappers that was uh, that was performing. And we talked, and then Mickey came to the Sky Zoo show, took notes, and he's like, "All right, I know exactly how I want to do this." At that point, you know, you know, because because I was I was I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it like, like 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 Mickey's vision, you know. Yeah. And then you know the rest is really history. After that, you know, we we started, we literally started making the curriculum like soon like really soon after he after he invited me and told told me he wanted to do this and yeah man I, it was it was it was <laughs> it was a fast it was a very long process it was a i'll take that back it was a short it was it was it wasn't very long but it felt like it took a year like because <laughs> we were just every single day every single day just meeting up after that every single day on zoom just Let's get this. Let's let's write. Let's make sure we got this. Oh, what do y'all think about this? Brought Rob in, like you said, Rob was in every for for a while. We were all having in the meetings, but there was a there was a little period in time there was just me, me, Rob, and Mickey, just hashing out all the terms and making sure everything is you know like making sure everything like get editing basically. We we're doing all the editing, and after it was done, man, it's it's man, it's, it, I, man I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of this. The students love it. Um, to the point where, man, they had class even on their off day. Like, I've mm -hmm. never even heard of that. I went to college. I've never heard of that before in my life. I heard of study groups. Yeah. I've heard of study groups. That wasn't a study group. They was that that was they was in there having having a good time, <laughs> a really good time to like learning material. So yeah, man, that's that's really how I came about. It's dope how. It, it came together for the, the greater good. Like Mickey, you said a little earlier, like I'm not a grimy dude. And like, this, this is a lesson for for all of us, right? You know what I'm saying? Like we we can build together, you know? It, it, it don't have to be so cutthroat and, and I'm trying to take advantage of this person before, like, you know, so hopefully, you know, hopefully what y'all are doing sets a precedent for us as a people, as a community moving forward. To, to continue trying to build together instead of trying to, you know, take Thank each other out. Thank you for making that point. That's a really good point because, like, mm. I could have invited anybody. Like, I could have reached out to so many people. I just, and for me to even just think, like, Mickey would be that person. And, and for me to invite Mickey, of all people, and we have the same vision like that, that's, how does that happen? Like, really, like, what are the chances? Like, <laughs> for real. I get what you're saying. It is very dynamic how it all came up. I wanted to see what, uh, cause Kareem, you mentioned Chilla Jones before he got in here and not Chilla Jones in here, I did. So I want to try to see if he has anything to add on to. Yeah, cause oh. my son, yeah, my son is a big right. fan of Chilla. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, word, salute, salute, salute. My yeah, he put me on, he put me on. I. I I, I, I'm here to learn, man. I he, I got nothing but respect for you, bro. Like he is, he super endorsed you, man. Right, that's fire. Uh, son man. is like, nice like, too. Oh, no, no losses. Like he was like, yo, like yo, he was yeah. That's fire, man. I, I super appreciate that. Um, yeah, man. So so you know my my involvement, you know, is is Mickey alluded to, 
Um, one day I, you know, I was just chilling. I got a call from Mickey. Mind you, Mickey, me and Mickey are like this, man. That's 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 my my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? So we we talk a lot. So he called me and he's like, "Yo, man, I got this idea." So for like 30 minutes, he's he's telling me like, "Man, I want to start this master class and all of the techniques that we spent the past decade naming and and put and and putting a science to and, and figuring it out and like." Mickey and I have our own language when it comes when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to rap. Okay. Cer certain things that we hear, certain things that we recognize, <clears throat> we have names for it, right? And so we'll, we'll hear, you know, let's say Drake puts out a new record, and Mickey will call me and be like, "Yo, Drake is glitching on this record, crazy." Now, now, glitching is a type of technique that we have that we have named that is used a lot in battle rap. And really, what it is is using the same word in multiple different ways, mm -hmm. but with different lines. So the the ten and two stuff mm -hmm. is gl is glitching, right? I'm taking ten and yeah. two, and I'm using it a bunch of different ways to create a bunch of different lines. That's a dope way of looking at it. Um, and so Mickey and I have probably 40 to 50 names like that for different techniques and different styles in rap. Wow. And we describe them using certain words. So when he says glitching, I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> When he says shadow boxing, I know exactly what he's talking about. We've literally made it into a science over the past decade, right? So he calls me and he's like, man, I want to put all of our techniques into like a lexicon or like a book. And I want to teach it in the masterclass. I want to make it so that other MCs can not only execute these techniques, but identify them. Mm. Right? When you go back and listen to a Biggie record from the 90s, we want to be able to speak amongst each other as MCs in a particular type of dialogue to be able to say, yo, Biggie was shadow boxing like crazy on that one record. Mm -hmm. And for everybody on the Zoom to know exactly the technique that I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, and so he's like, yeah, man, this, you know, this is my vision. This is what I want to do. And, um, you know, just as a little background, my evolution as a MC and as a battle rapper and going from, a, you know, just a local battle rapper in Boston, elevating and making it to, you know, URL, what most would call like the NBA of battle rap. Mickey played a huge role in that. Mickey was the person that found my footage on YouTube. Mickey was the person that co-signed me as an artist to the league and mickey is the reason that after one battle i got a call to join this league wow wow it it takes other mcs years it takes other mcs 10 15 20 30 yeah. 40 battles to yeah. build their experience for 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 leagues to really be to take an MC like that seriously because of how strongly Mickey co-signed me it took one battle for them to say bring him to New York and let's see what he can do uh, right so when Mickey calls me and tells me yo I got this idea and I have this vision and this is what I want to do right. you don't got you don't got to sell me on shit word, word. if you believe in it I believe in it what 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 do you need me to do? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Um, and that's really how it came about. I started pulling up to the meetings. I started giving my input. Um, you know, we figured out, you know, what my role was going to be. So I am, you know, the professor of the advanced techniques alongside with Mickey Fats. Um, yeah, man. And and that, that was really all it took to get me in the fold and to get me as a part of the Pendulum Inc. staff. Yo, let me just say... This is the reason why I fucking love hip hop, yo. Cause shit like, man, come the fuck on. Like, <laughs> that's that's inspiring as fuck, yo. 
<laughs> and, it, and it's real. You know what I'm like? The shit is real. It, it's, it's nothing artificial about it. Like, it shit is real. That's that's the thing. Like, I just I just keep hearing the 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 human connections, the the connections to make things better. You know right. what I mean? That that's that's the out of the discussion. That's the shit that's sitting well with me. It's like, yo, we really do do this shit, even though nobody wants to talk about it. Like, cats can can build together, yo. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. My connection's kind of similar to that as well. Like, Mick, Mickey, if, Mickey for me, he. He reached out on an article I wrote in like maybe 2013 or 2014. I wrote an article, 25 page article on the evolution of rhyming in hip hop. And I was already listening to Mickey. And then he reached out to me on Twitter and he said, yo, I want to connect because I love what you're, you know, love that you're talking about the intricacies of rhyming and, you know, subtleties of rhyming that not many people talk about. And I was like, that's not Mickey Fax. Like, but then, you know, we connected and I was, te- I was, I was already, te- I was teaching Mickey Fax. I was teaching Mickey Fax in my workshops, you know, because people just weren't rhyming, like, you know, with triple entendres and all these things. People just weren't doing that really. And so I was already teaching him. And so we just connected way before the school as well. Um, and so I just wanted to say like, yeah, Mickey has a human connection with all of us um and we all you know we all took our different paths to get here but like it's kind of like Voltron, like everything was just leading towards this path you know Word. yeah i couldn't i couldn't do this i couldn't do this thing without uh jeff he was a he's a very important piece to this um i couldn't do this without any of these guys right like right. but for, for, but you know jeff I called Jeff right after I called Chilla because Jeff reached out to me when I made that initial tweet in 2021. Like I'm talking about, I put that tweet up and then I put it on my Instagram and Jeff hit me like five minutes later. He called me. He was like, Mickey, I want I want to be a part of this. Whatever you're doing, I want to be a part of it. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm still figuring it out. I just made the tweet to see the interest in it. And he was like, right. he's like, that sounds good, but I, I'm just letting you know that I want to be a part of it. And I was like, okay, you know, let me, let me figure it out. And, you know, I kept my word as soon, as soon as this thing, as soon as I got the okay from Chilla, cause I, I, I couldn't do it without Chilla. Like I, I wouldn't have been able to do this thing without him. Like, you know, because he knows everything that I know. Um, and I, I trust him, like I said earlier. So, when Chilla said he was gonna do it, I said, okay, now I got I got my guy, I got my I got my my twin lyricist here with me. I got my guy who could teach you how to flow on a beat, which is Cam. I got my mental health specialist. You know what I'm saying? So now there's you can't escape us. If you wanna be a better lyricist or writer, you come to me and Chilla. You wanna be a better flower on a beat, you go to Cam. And if you want to, you want to tap into your emotions and, and, and into your inner port, who you are, and combine all of that together, you gotta go see Jeff. You know what I'm saying? And then we have someone. We got we got Rob, right? You know, I was reaching out to Rob. I wanted to make sure the things that me and Chilla created was not in the English language. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So adding him was essential, and he's been in academia for 10 15 years so it's like okay now we're legitimized from an academia standpoint Word. now you can't you can't say nothing to us you got the grammy winner you got a you got a, a battle champion you got a jazz musician you got a mental health specialist and you got someone who who has a master's degree in 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 in, 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 in fine arts and in, in, in creative writing you we have every we have every base covered you can't, you can't, yeah this is a, a this is the best start. This is literally the best start of five. And then, you know, my marketing expertise, you know, we got, we got Chilla teaching a battle rap class. We got a viral MC teaching a content creation class. You got me teaching a business class. And then with all my contacts and everybody else's contacts here, we getting legendary MCs. Right. Like, wow. you can't beat that. Wow. We got Corey Guns pulling up this month. Come on. To teach how he rap. That's dope. 
Last month we had Master Ace, the month before that Fonte, the month before that Inspector Deck. <laughs>